A shocking crime in New York City rocking the FDNY. A 24-year veteran EMS lieutenant was stabbed to death while on duty in Queens. You believe this? Todd Pyro joining us now with the latest. Todd, unbelievable Just story. Horrible, horrible story. Shocking one out of New York City as an EMS lieutenant stabbed to death while on duty in Queens yesterday. This all happening in broad daylight, mind you. Police say 61-year-old Allison Russo Elling was on her lunch break when a knife-wielding madman knocked her down, stabbed her more than 20 times in what they're describing as a barbaric and completely unprovoked attack. The suspect then barricaded himself in his nearby apartment, where police were eventually able to talk him down, taking him into custody. Mayor Eric Adams condemning the attack and praising the victim for her long career as a first responder. She should not have been murdered in this fashion. This is a painful time for everyone. And let's be clear on the terminology that is used and reported. She was on duty, doing her job, saving the people of the city of New York. That was her role, and that's the role of the countless men and women who are moving through the city, saving New Yorkers. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik calling out city leadership and soft on crime policies that may have enabled this attack. Listen. The governor of New York State and the mayor of New York City have blood on their hands. Uh, Democrats and radicals have been pushing this defund the police movement and the failed bail reform policies that prioritizes the criminals over law-abiding citizens. Russo Elling was a 24-year veteran of the FDNY, was also a 9-11 first responder. Back to you. So think about this. Uh, she's just down the block in full uniform, 2.30 in the afternoon, gets stabbed to death. In a so, bodega. Uh, in a, yeah. Just getting some food. Right, just getting some food. She was at 9-11, as, as Todd mentioned. On top of that, too, this 34-year-old this guy, that's all we know, runs. If it wasn't for that good Samaritan, this guy might have got away with mm -hmm. it, even though he's caught on video. And then he gets holed up, uh, holed up and uh, ends up getting arrested. Guarantee you this. Long track record of criminal behavior. Yep. In and out of Rikers Island, I'm sure, unless he decided to commit uh, some of these horrific acts elsewhere. And there's going to be, I'm sure, a bunch of red flags amongst his family and friends to say how dangerous he is. But he, I, I, you will see, uh, in, in this can't happen. I wish it was a one-off. But this is every day. The woman that gets assaulted in the train station, the subway station, no one comes around. Uh, the person gets thrown on the tracks. This, this is all hell is breaking loose, and there's no cops around. It's just random. It's crazy people that are just want to want to beat someone up in the subway that they don't even know. Want to walk into a bodega and stab this woman who was so close to retirement. You know, in the New York Post article, Brian, to your point, describes people saying this guy's a loner. He'd been in that neighborhood for years. Something completely off about him, and then this happens and he probably you know who knows but in this environment maybe there's a feeling that the consequences will be less and, so and he that's fled a, into his yeah. apartment Listen, we heard that after the, stabbing her 20 times we were interviewing a law enforcement official in florida and he said he was arresting someone and they said in new york we don't get arrested for this he said you're not in new york anymore <laughs> right yeah that was the sheriff <laughs> sheriff yeah. brady uh, yeah, in Chicago, yeah, this guy says that. It's true. And, and Is that the true. guy that was from Chicago? Yeah. He goes in, he says, I'm from Chicago, I'm from Chicago. Well, you're not in Chicago anymore. Yes. Right. And, and just as we toss over to Carly, Keep in mind, that's why every Democrat is scrubbing their websites uh, for all uh, Black Lives Matter references because they are anti-cop uh, and that all these anti-cop movements that talked about, uh, you know, uh, talk to anything that's anti-police mm -hmm. because you will not get elected uh, in America right now if you are anti-police. That's absolutely right.